Welcome, everybody. In slightly strange circumstances, but it is good that we can still remember. The government have made it very clear that we are doing nothing illegal by being gathered here today, but I am asked to remind you that we must be socially distanced throughout this event. We have come together before Almighty God to remember before him those who, through death, injury or bereavement, suffered to bring peace and freedom to our world. We thank him for the peace we enjoy while remembering those in conflicts today. We come to repent of our failure to strive for reconciliation and above all to recall the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, the only hope for a broken world. Some words from Psalm 46. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. As we begin this act of remembrance, let us pray. Ever living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Laying of the reeds. The Royal Navy. The Royal British Legion, Nelsey Branch. <laughs> Nelsey and Backwell Rotary. Nailsey and District, Roll of Honour, 1914 to 1918. A. G. Badman, F. T. Baker, H. O. Baker. S. C. Baker. W. J. Baker. H. W. Bain. W. S. Banwell. H. J. Bond. A. Brimble. J. Brimble. D. F. Brown. W. J. Bryant. G. By A. E. Colthurst, A. Durbin, G. B. Durbin, E. E. Gamlen, C. E. Griffin, H. G. Griffin, R. P. Harvey, 
H. M. Hobbs, P. B. Hobbs, W. Holder, C. F. Hunt, G. T. James, C. E. W. Jarrett, F. C. Jones, V. A. Jones, J. A. King, L. H. King Harmon, E. Lewis, F. Lippiat, M. Locke, A. G. Marchant, W. J. Moore, E. Richards, W. J. Rolls, G. H. Shepherd, W. J. Shepstone, E. O. Sprod, E. E. Stevens, E. T. C. Summerhill, H. Summers, S. Taylor, E. H. Thomas, F. W. Toombs, H. C. Toombs, W. Trace, O. G. Vowels, S. G. Wait, A. Wheeler, C. A. Wilcox, L. Yeats. 1939 to 1945. C. E. Ball, C. Brown, J. C. Bovington, T. F. Chamberlain, C. Cole, G. Cole, V. L. Cole, A. Cox, H. C. Gay, H. G. Green, L. G. Harding, D. W. G. Hooper, G. King, R. E. Lauder, H. Main, L. F. Mitchard, R. J. Mitchell, J. Moore, A. J. Neat, E. Newman, A. C. Percy, G. Perry, R. Reed, C. Rene, A. Richards, M. C. Smallman, J. Stacy, R. C. Summerell, T. L. Tanner, W. F. Warren, D. Weaver, K. R. Wood, G. F. Ude, G. G. Ude. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember, remember them. them.
when you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave your today. As we remember those who gave their lives for the peace that we enjoy, let our remembering not be hollow. The power of remembering lies in how we act when we remember. So as we remember the pain and destruction that war brings, let us, each of us, personally commit to pursuing peace in every area of our lives, in our world, in our nation, in our community, in our families, and towards other in our hearts. Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. May we be those who promote peace among humanity and with God. Let us pray. God of peace and love, we remember with sadness the pain and the suffering of war. We remember those who are suffering this very minute because of wars past or present. We also remember the smaller wars that happen within communities, among friends, within families and within ourselves. We pray for peace. We pray for courage to be peacemakers, no matter what the cost. And we pray that we might learn from the wisdom and teaching of Jesus, the Prince of Peace. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Royal British Legion, dismissed.